So just a quick shout out as well before I start. Um, a shout out to um, a mum and daughter that came up to me when I was at work at Chapperfield um, downstairs on the kiosk. Um, I get so bored there, so it's lovely when people talk to me. But anyway, mum came up to me and told me that her daughter watched my videos, but that she was too shy to say hi. So she came up to me and said, you know, my daughter's over there and she watched your videos and blah, blah. And um, she's absolutely lovely as well. And then she kind of shouted her daughter to come over. Um, and her daughter was also lovely, really pretty, lovely long hair as well, very jealous. It's annoying because I've got their names. If you've seen this video, then please comment down below and tell me your name um, because I meant to ask you but I completely forgot um, but thank you one for watching my video um, to the girl and then for her mum to kind of encourage her daughter to come and say hi because I do like it when people come and say hi to me and tell me that they watch my videos as well like never ever be shy to tell me or any other youtuber or blogger or whatever go up to them and tell me you watch their videos or you read their blogs or whatever like people honestly appreciate it more and they like it when people say that like that's why we do it is because we make things we make like i make videos for you guys but shout out to you and the um lo lovely lady your mum that can't be in the first place but yeah Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm again in a bit of a different background. So I'm actually at my mum's house at the moment um, just because I was here so I thought I'd just film here because why not? Today I'm going to be doing a pretty little thing haul for you. So I'm going to be doing um, a pretty little thing try and haul but I'm going to do it like a going out version. So all the clothes that I'm wearing is what I'd wear like or what I'm going to try on as if I was going on a night out if that makes sense. So um, some of the things I've got that look a bit random or a bit weird i just want to see what they look like on because on the models they look quite nice some of the things that i got i think were in the sale as well um hopefully it'll say it on the sheet that i get with it but if not i'll just link them down below okay so just quickly i just got this cool thing i don't know if everyone gets these at the moment but basically what it says it says oh it's a unicorn ticket is what it's called um and on the back it says pretty little thing congratulations this unicorn ticket makes you the winner of a mystery prize we're giving away up to one million prizes from pretty little thing discounts to free clothes to luxury holidays as well as a cash prize of ten thousand pounds want to find out what you've won simply head to pretty little thing forward slash black friday basically um, so that's pretty exciting, so I will have a look at that in a minute as well. Very cute. What I'll do is I will, I think what I'll do is I'll go onto this website at the end of this video, if I can remember, um, and then I'll let you know what I've won. I might finish this video and have 10 grand, so you know, keep watching to find out. So the first thing that I've got was this top just here. It's just like a lacy like vest um, top. I can't think of what the actual word is for it. I feel like there's a word for this kind of top. Sweetheart, I guess, like a lacy kind of top. Um, so I wouldn't just wear this on a normal day, obviously. So I would wear this on a night out, obviously. Um, my video is probably titled Night Owl Outfits or somewhere along that line. Um, so I really like this, I probably wouldn't wear it with these, these are just what I have with me so I'm just going to go with it. Um, obviously I wouldn't wear these with them on a night out because, I don't know, does it look kind of weird? I feel like it looks kind of weird. But if I show you up close it's just like a bit lacy. With jeans I'd probably wear this as well, so you know the whole like jeans and a nice top kind of thing, I would probably wear this with that. So jeans to kind of make it like dress down a little bit. Um, but the nice top because obviously if you're going out you still want to look a bit over the top not over the top but a little bit extra you know like just a little bit the only time i probably would wear these kind of tops though is with jeans maybe possibly like some kind of trousers like either straight leg trousers like long ones or like the cigarette type kind of trousers or even like the flared like kind of trousers as well like like the ankle swinging kind of ones if you know what i mean so this one was in a size 8, which fits me perfectly, and it is, in, it is £22. So hmm, £22 is a little bit of money for just a top that you're not going to wear like all the time. Like, well, I wouldn't wear it like all the time. I'd only wear it really on a night out. Um, 
but I don't really go out that often, so it's probably not really that worth it for me. If you're gonna wear it a lot and get more use out of it, then 22 pounds isn't that bad, because it's actually a really nice um, top and it's really nicely fitted as well. And the thing that I like about this as well is that it's not see-through. You can sometimes get like the lacy tops and they're see-through underneath, so people like wear no bras with them and stuff. I've actually got a bra underneath this anyway, um, just like a strapless one, but I would wear bras with these anyway, just because that's just what I prefer. I am happy with that. Okay, so sorry, but can we just talk about this top, please? Because I love it. Like, how cute is this? Again, I wouldn't wear it with leather look leggings, but it's kind of all I had. I forgot to bring some spare bottoms. My bad. So I love this. This is so cute. Um, I would wear this with an actual bra that would go with this. Also, I would wear this with definitely... Um, like blue ripped jeans, high waisted, or even like a cute little skirt I think would look nice with this. Um, but it's just like a, it's a cute, cute baby pink colour. Obviously, you guys aren't blind. Um, but it's like silky all here, it feels so comfortable as well. And then it's like see-through um, on this bit here. Um, obviously, I'd get like a proper bra, so like you wouldn't see any bra here, if that makes sense. Um, but that's just the... You can see the back as well. Sorry, it might be like a tag sticking out or something. Like, I love this kind of pink. Um, it's so nice. And I just, it's, it just feels like, what's the, I can't think of the word, but it feels just nice. I feel like a girl. I feel like a pretty, like, girly girl in this. This was in a size 8 also. All my tops, I think I'm pretty sure they had my size in it and I got a size 8 in all of it. Um, but I'll just double check for you and I'll double check the price too. Yes, this was in a size 8 and this was £18. Um, which, £18 for this, you'd think it'd be a bit more expensive really. Maybe like the other black one which is like 22 Um I don't know, some of you might prefer that more. That was a nice one but I just like this. I think this looks cute and girly and pretty and I love it. The next thing that I got was this lacy black dress which I'm not really a fan of if I'm completely honest. One, it doesn't actually fit properly. It like won't do up so I won't show you the back. Um, but two, I just don't think it looks right on me. I think I look a bit silly. But that's just me. I'll just show you all of it so you can see. So it's very fitted and very like tight. You can kind of see how tight it is, literally like I can't move my legs like this, like stuck together, um, so I can't really move it now, I'm pretty sure this is a size 8, but let me just double check, yeah that was £30 that one, um, in a size 8, so I mean I am normally a size 8 but this is pretty tight, the thing, the part that is tight the most is probably the bottom half, like that is where I literally can't move and where I physically could not do it up, like it just doesn't, like, if you're smaller than me, you're maybe like a size 6 and I'll probably get a size 8 because this is, like, really, really tight. Like, really tight. So, though, if you do like this, I will link everything down in my description box. So, um, if you do still like this dress or even if you think it, look, it doesn't look bad on me or you think it would look nice on you or you think it would fit you nicely or you could wear it for a special occasion, then, yeah, click the link in my description box and you can get it. So, the next thing that I got is this pink blazer dress so ignore what's underneath it it's just the dress that I had on before um but it was a little bit too low for me I don't feel comfortable wearing it without a top underneath so that's why I've got this one I know it doesn't really go but it's all I had I had to make do I thought this was cute again I love the pink colour as well um it's just got little like checked bits on it and I've he's got these buttons which are meant to be quite popular at the moment um I'm seeing them on quite a lot of clothing so I thought this looks really cute. I think this would look cute with your hair up though. Um, I don't know if I can really, I don't have a hairband, but I think if you had your hair up, I think this would look cute with some like just cute little earrings as well. Um, so let's just pretend that I've got my hair up and there isn't this really annoying return thing on here. So I'll just try and show you how far it comes up to. There you go, so you can kind of see how far, just where the fire, the, the, just where the fires are. Um, so I thought this was quite cute to wear on a night out. If you're feeling like, oh, you know, I'm going out but it's a little bit cold, you know, you don't want to get too cold, then, you know, this has got long sleeves on it. It's basically like a big jacket, isn't it, really? Um, obviously you're still going to have your legs out, you're still going to have, like, a chest area out, but you're not going to be as cold as if you were to wear, I don't know, just this, um, 
dress on its own you'd be a lot colder so i feel like this is a nice alternative if you don't feel like you want to get like you want to still dress up and wear cute heels and whatever but you don't want to be like freezing your butt off and i think it just looks classy as well and i love blazer dresses at the moment i think they're quite in at the moment it probably would look better if this wasn't underneath it but if i kind of like do that you can kind of see yeah i mean if it just had like that one more button just here, so it still had that v-neck but it wasn't like too much. I feel like if it was here it would be a bit too much for me personally. On some people they could pull it off and it would look lovely but it's just not me. I definitely prefer it with hair up. Maybe with a few little bits hanging down as well and then some like hoops or something I think really nice. This one was in a size 8 and it was £35. £35 I don't think is really... Yeah, that's gonna fall. 25 pounds is not really that bad for this. Like I know it sounds might sound like quite a lot, but it's not that bad because obviously you can wear it like this, you can undo the buttons like if you wanted to and have it as like a blazer jacket. I feel like you can make so many different outfits out of it. You're getting like a lot for your money. So um I absolutely love this. I love the length of it. Um I love it fit it feels very comfortable, it looks smart. The only thing I would say is that I feel like it is too low down. You might just need to wear like a bandu or something underneath it just so it doesn't look too much. Okay so don't even ask. Um <laughs> this Oh, it's not even done up properly because I can't like so this is my next dress it's something I feel like a big bogey I'm not really a big fan of this one if I'm honest I thought on the model it looked really cool and it looked kind of like it looked nice but on me it doesn't look nice I love the idea of the sleeves, which is kind of what made me get it, to be honest. Um, I love this. It's like the sheer, like, see-through kind of lacy, not lacy detail, um, the um, mesh kind of sleeves. But I really like the idea. The middle part I'm not that keen of, though, and it's a little bit baggy on the old sleeves as well. Like, not baggy, but, like, it could be tighter. Also, the colour is bogey green. On the right person, this would probably look actually all right really let's see what does it look like with my hair up mm, nope equally as bad maybe even more bad i just thought i was going to try something different to the normal black that i normally wear i thought it looked cool on the model but i did think that it's probably not going to look good on me but i thought i want to try it whilst i'm ordering a bulk of things i'm going to try and see what it, like, what it looks like well firstly i feel like i'm shedding because this is so it's got like little glittery sequin almost type things on they probably can't really see um which look lovely but they're just like going everywhere like, I, I feel like there might be some in my hair the actual design of it is nice it's just the color is a bit much and i'm not really sure on the under bit of this like i'm glad it has something underneath so it's not see-through um but i just don't like don't really like it it just doesn't look it looks a bit weird um but the sleeves in itself i mean they do look actually quite pretty like close up it's just it looks a bit silly on me like i look like i've just come from i don't know a different planet or something this was in a size eight and it was 35 pounds apparently on me no i really i don't even think i'd take it if it was for free not the design necessarily just like it looks horrible on me like Green is not my colour. I've learnt that now. Not really feeling this one. Oh my god, look at the back. That's oh, terrible. So the next thing that I got and the last thing that I got was this dress. So it's just like a stone coloured one. And I just like the... Ah, oh, they're not even done up. Okay, maybe these aren't my favourite parts then. Oh, wow, okay. So this is the last thing that I got. I thought I liked these bits the best, but now I don't feel that way anymore. Um, so this is like the length of it. It's pretty cute actually. Um, it's just like uh, almost like kind of casual. Um, if you don't want to go like too OTT when you're going out, it's just a cute little dress that you can wear. But now I'm not. I'm just not really keen on these whole tie-up bits. They look cuter on when I saw them online they do in person. Not that, I think I'm just tied them wrong, I'm just not very good at tying things to make them look cute into little bows. Um, but the actual fit is really nice. I'd still say that I'd keep this because it's, it's just nice casual, nice colour. You could also wear this as well 
I'm not even necessarily going out. You can wear this with like knee high black boots and like a nice jacket, like long jacket over the top. I don't know if that's, that's just an image I've got on my head. It might look stupid if I actually had that on, but if it was like, I don't know, I think it would look quite nice. This was in a size A and that was £25. The actual dress itself, I think if you didn't have these bits and it was just that tiny, tiny, tiny little bit higher, then I'd love this dress, but it doesn't, so I hate it. No jokes. I like the colour of it and I love the buttons. Like, I really love that at the moment. You'll see that a lot in my hauls, that I love these buttons. Like, I feel like they're everywhere and I just love them. I don't know what it is, but I love them. My boyfriend thinks they're ugly and he hates them, but I love them, so that's all that matters. <sighs> Why am I so out of breath? I haven't even done anything. So, that was the end of my haul. I hope that you did enjoy it. I thought it was a little bit different from what I normally do. Normally, I do just like, yeah, everyday haul of things that I like but um, this one because I'm going out I thought I'd do a going out one instead like a going out version of it um, so I hope that you guys like it if you did please give it a big thumbs up leave any comments down below of anything else you do want me to film um, I've been doing mainly just hauls at the moment to be honest just because one I enjoy it the most and two you guys seem to like it the most the most out of everything that I do. If you do want to see anything else, please let me down in the comments below. Um, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, because everyone does mean so much to me. And I really want to get to a thousand before Christmas, as I say in all my videos now. Um, but I do, I really want to get to a thousand before Christmas and it keeps going like, I think it's on nine, 944, 945 at the moment. So I really just want to keep it going up and up and up, even if that means sharing it loads, even if it means, anything just I just I just want to get to a thousand I feel like I've been waiting for it for so long I'm so close but so far away what I will do though before I go is I will do if or what I want whether it's discounts 10 grand you know I'll do that before I go so give me one second I bet we just like 20% off my next order or something so a bit of an annoying one, I don't actually know, I went onto the website that it told me to go onto to find out what my prize was and the website was just the Pretty Little Thing website, it wasn't any different to the normal website, it was just the normal website. So I don't really know, it says that I've got a prize but I don't know any age for this. like it's pretty clear there it says congratulations that I've won something, but apparently not, so sorry about that pretty disappointed really but what I have done though I've emailed or I've sent a message on Instagram to a pretty little thing and just ask them in case I'm just reading it wrong or I've got it wrong somehow um but I'm pretty sure it says you know it just says I've got I've won a mystery prize so yeah I don't really I'm a bit confused really but yeah so sorry to disappoint make you wait all that time for nothing but if there's any consolation I'm just as disappointed as you are so yeah, I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.